Oh RPG Maker VSA community, welcome to the second part of my Falcao Per ABS Liquid version 2 tutorial. And for some reason I recorded with my webcam mic in the last episode. And I've also figured out that I've been uploading videos in not the resolution that I'm recording it in, but down resolution in it or something like that. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, anyways, excuse the audio quality in the last video, although most of my videos are with that webcam, so, yeah, using my new microphone now, though. Um, anyways, back to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be setting up, wait for it, we are going to be setting up, not the, it, well, we're going to be setting up the script and the, of, of the ABS, but we're not going to actually be doing stuff that allows you to be, to use the ABS right now. First, set up the script, then other stuff I guess okay per documentation this is for your reading read this if you if you want to make a game with this system definitely read this I know it's a lot of stuff to read but read it but it's more of a reference thing than a reading thing but yeah reference from it and read it okay we are gonna set up a few things in the kernel First thing is enemy sensor. Leave that as B. Leave it as B. Or you could change it to A, C, C or D. So those are basically the cell switches that you want to use for that. But I suggest leaving it at B. Um, default enemy sensor distance. Uh, seven is okay. I'm actually just going to skip a whole bunch of these stuff. Um, they are explained to you. So you could actually just like read it but i'm gonna go ahead and change some stuff that we are gonna change while in party battle okay okay i'm just gonna skim through these and tell you what they do enemy sensor is when an enemy sees you what does the enemy do enemy sensor um damn it so the number um is the how many distance and tiles that the enemy actually sees you the knockdown cell switch is when you knock down an enemy what does it do does it well it basically just um turns on cell switch c on and then you could do whatever you want with that the default enemy collapse is the animation played when an enemy dies player range is like the party thing it's basically like this how far away is your party member going to be from the enemy to actually follow them Fell balloon is when you I don't even care. Um well I this one It doesn't really matter. Start window with HUD. Okay, here we go. Start the game with the ABS HUD. So if you want to have a cutscene in the beginning and you don't want the um the HUD to be there immediately, you set this to false, but since we're doing the tutorial and everything, I don't really actually yeah, I'm gonna set this to false right now because I actually do want to show you a way to turn it on during the thing so do you want to activate the followers dead pose so basically the dead pose is when your enemy died i mean your party member died does it like jump to uh graphics other than the regular ones so you can make it jump to like a graphics of them like laying down to like show you that they're dead single player i'm gonna go ahead and turn this to true um this tutorial will not be for party members because i've never when i make games i always make games that you're the only party member and i've actually never made a game with a party so i don't actually know how to use the party functions in this game i mean in this um system so we're gonna leave that to true i might later on if i get enough requests to make a tutorial on party stuff but it's i'm pretty sure it's not that hard okay so over here is a little daunting I know let me go ahead and pull pull up a reference real quick because I just want to do some stuffies mm -mm -mm. script 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 go to kernel go to kernel all the way down as you can see my settings are almost identical to that one there's one thing in particular I'm looking for which is here okay this stuff have to remember them I put one minus 15 so I put that okay those are advanced and those we're gonna be covering 
these stuff over here we're gonna be cut well not those stuff but these stuff over here with the HUD to move the HUD around to the position that you like and stuff um, we're going to be covering not like the HUD like the text on the HUD and stuff like that are these things we're gonna be covering those later projectiles you do not need to worry about projectiles just know that it's there and be done with it battler settings um again i would suggest leaving this 100 percent um intact the only thing you only things you might want to change is the keys if you want which are these things right here you could change those uh you could change the se and stuff like that but beyond that um i don't suggest changing anything else these are the text that you um that you want to display on top of your character when they when they buff or debuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but again i suggest leaving these stuff as they are because in my even in my game they are at default status i didn't change those at all their power skill bar is one that you might want to change if you don't like where the skill bar is you might want to change that but um know that it's is it in tiles I don't it's in tiles and not actually like the screen position, so it's kind of weird in a way. And then the this icon is basically um, follower attack command icon index. I actually don't even know what that means. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Again, the only thing I suggest you changing over here. I mean, I know what that is, but I can't. I forgot what it does because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Mm. Is it the same? This thing probably is then again oh that's okay that's for like when you have followers and you want them to start attacking and the button you press i did keep that the same so that's video finish rendering um i'll show you what that does later again these are the stuff that i suggest you change over here and this is basically layout graphics this is the name of the graphics that we've put in here which is this so if you had a different name for your skill bar, you would come here to change that. Sprite, 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 don't suggest you change anything here. Don't change anything here unless you know what you're doing. Per scene. Again, don't change anything here unless you know what you're doing. So this test is... Um, the only thing you could actually change is are these things, these text over here, but be beyond that, nothing else life bar again here we could change more stuff okay let's just jump right into it the bar x and y position on the screen is basically where do you want your okay it goes like this when you're moving around the bars you have to keep in mind that they all move at the same time they don't move like separately which is the bar x and bar y location they move set um, at the same time if you want to move them um at different places and make them not like the same thing you have to come down i actually forgot where but it's these are the color definition i believe it's yeah it's this, these ones over here so um this is if you want to move them individually but when you move these two things they move at the same time so let's say I move this to 20 and then I move this to 20 all right but basically the thing that you need to take out of that is they move at the same time when you see um the the HP and the MP and the TP they all moved at the same time and instead of it moving individually now if you want to move them individually then you will have to come down here where the X and Y is. Let's go ahead and show you an example. Let's make this 25 and then go back out. And the HP, I believe, should be different. Um, I moved it Y, y words so it moved down a little bit so as you can see. Um, yeah, let me move the X actually. That would be more visible. And I forgot what this was. 25 what, what was it before damn it move this to 12 8 12 8 12 8 12 easy for me to remember yes and as you can see though um the hp moved over 
to the right and the MP stayed at the same place. So this moves the whole thing as a whole and these ones move it individually. Keep that in mind. And then the TP, if you want to move it individually as well, color definition is when you color definition. When you don't use these like your own custom graphics, then you could use a graphic generated by the game itself. So this this will be the color stuff that you generate. But we are using our own graphics, which I suggest you do too. And that so basically, just look over this whole menu and look at the um, different informations. Like the this whole play, um, session has to do with the location of the um life bars and stuff like that. But if you actually want to edit the text and stuff like that, you will have to go into the kernel and come down over somewhere over here. So, yeah, it's kind of complicated like that, but I'm going to go over that. Um, the per item pop up again, it's an add on, not really required. You just go through this, change the position over your character's um, head or object or whatever. And then the sounds that you want to play and then the gold icon for when you get gold. Per anti lag, you don't have to touch this one, but you could if you want and change the app range. And the fanatic ABS again, you do not have to touch this. And yeah, that's it for this episode. So, in this episode, we covered the settings in the per ABS script itself. Next episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up enemies because that's easier than setting up with brands and stuff like that. So, I'm going to try to go from easy to hard stuff. So, again, peace. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to like this video and if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave your comments down below to let me know. Once again, thank you.